Didn't he leave? And the fire's almost down. Let me put it out. <clears throat> May I? Still awake? Sorry, love. I, I wish you would have woken me. I would have cuddled you back to sleep. Yeah. It's not very comfortable. <sighs> it can be tough out here. In all this wilderness, all this space. It's quite beautiful, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> simple. <laughs> it's hardly simple out here. The forest. It's a very complex and intricate ecosystem. Whole communities of plants, animals, microbes, all interacting together. And with this atmosphere, depending on one another to survive. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I no doubt about this, but uh, I just find it so interesting. To you, camping might just be a humble tent and a uh, tattered sleeping bag. <laughs> a crackling fire that you complain makes your hair smell like smoke. <laughs> but uncomfortable and unglamorous, maybe, with no connection to the outside world, <laughs> void of Wi-Fi, <laughs> but to me it's the perfect environment to, to recharge and to spend quality time together, to be connected to maybe not the modern world, but the real world if that makes sense. Something more natural or innate. I don't, I don't know. And I suppose, right about now, in the middle of the night, when we're tossing and turning, it's a reminder to be grateful for all of the luxuries of life that we have back home too. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Um, to be surprised. So much of life at home can be predictable, routine. Out here it's sort of uncharted territory. At least to us. Hmm. What was it that you said on the hike earlier? Uh, I believe it was, we're lost in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And, um, <laughs> I laughed at the paradox. <laughs> Actually, you were right. You knew exactly where we were. Um, we found ourselves maybe not nowhere, but somewhere unfamiliar. That was my goal, to explore the unknown together. Plus I had the whole trail mapped out <laughs> on paper in my pocket. <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 please don't be mad. 
Yeah. I didn't tell you because I knew you'd just want to see it and head straight back to our campsite, and I wanted to have a chance to enjoy our surroundings. Slow down time. Be present in the moment. (laughs) Oh, sure, yeah, roll your eyes. I can still tell you're relieved by that confession. Besides, we're never really lost. Not when I can look up and see the North Star. Yeah. See there? Yeah. The North Star. Or uh, Polaris. It always leads us due north. Yeah. It's so aligned with the Earth's axis that it doesn't really move in its position, even though the stars surrounding it do, depending on where you are and what time of year it is. Yeah, definitely. Stars are much brighter out here, away from the city, and all that light pollution. It's always fun to stargaze. I used to do it more often when I was younger. My father gave me a telescope for my eighth birthday. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I had it set up in my bedroom. And we used to head out on trips just like this. We'd camp and he'd point out different constellations and asterisms. Teach me the names, the mythology. (laughs) Oh, yeah? You think that's cute? (sighs) Well, (laughs) then you would have loved our cat, Andy, Um, with an eye. I named her after the constellation Andromeda. (laughs) Yeah, very cute, I know. Uh, She was a black cat with white paws and bright green eyes. She was brilliant. Just like these stars. Hmm? You've never stargazed before. (laughs) Okay, come here, come here. Come closer, love. Let me show you. These stars uh, we see, they're all parts of the Milky Way, our galaxy. Yeah, it's big and a bit ominous, but looking up and seeing it like this, it can be comforting. Like, even out here, in this expansive, unfamiliar forest, we're still sort of home, you know? When we look up, it's almost like we're peering out of a window, out to our celestial neighborhood. I know. But it helps to feel how small we are compared to uh, all this. And focusing upward. It's 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 hard to explain, but uh, I can't really help but feel present. Yeah, exactly. All of my senses are activated. The dark night sky, just illuminated by these different dots, it engulfs my entire field of vision. Out here, I can actually hear the silence somehow. And every so often, it's punctuated by rustling trees in the wind and the rhythm of chirping crickets. If I take a deep breath in, I can 
and smell the damp soil, the leaves. It's slightly sharp, piney. Yeah, try it with me. See? So much more to sense. No, really. It becomes possible to just not think about anything else. <laughs> Except you, of course. <sighs> no worries, no anxieties. Makes me feel grounded, in a way. Ooh, there. See that bright one? No, 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 just to the left. Here. <laughs> Allow me. I'll use your hand to point. Yes, darling. Here. Close one eye. See it? Follow the line of your arm. There. That's serious. Alpha Canis Majoris, the dog star. <laughs> right. Well, no, we didn't. But uh, if we did adopt a pet dog growing up, Sirius definitely would have been a great name. <laughs> and then, we trace a line here, from Sirius up. That's Beetlejuice, a red supergiant. It's part of the Winter Triangle. With Procyon here, I think. It's a little hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, Beetlejuice like the movie. <laughs> Just don't make me say it a third time. <laughs> This is Kami. Yeah. Lean back. Yeah. Into my chest. <laughs> now they're holding you here. Yeah. It was a long time ago. I guess I do remember a lot of what he taught me. He always inspired me to continue to study the stars. You know, I cherish those memories with my father. But it doesn't compare to how I feel stargazing with you tonight. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Even though I know a thing or two about the universe, I certainly don't know enough. We can't. It's... impossible. There's so much yet to discover, and we hardly know how to measure it all. But when I look up at a star-laden sky like tonight's... I still feel a sense of peace with the unknown. Excitement, even. Yeah. It's definitely... Mysterious and expanding. Much like being in love. <sighs> we 
When you look up, how do you feel? Hmm. You do? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the act of simply noticing the stars. It's a good way to recenter and reconnect with nature. Even if it's just a single star, as far away and as alien as it seems, it has the power to reflect our true selves back at us. <laughs> yeah, like a mirror. You know, studies have officially proved that we're somewhere, I think, uh, between 96 and 98% stardust. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. That star right there, it's made of the same particles as you are. Hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, so on. I learned about it in my uh, astronomy course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like that uh, quote from Carl Sagan. Something like, we're made of star stuff. We're a way for the universe to know itself. <laughs> hmm. You know, darling, I... I really appreciate you being open-minded about this trip. I know it... wouldn't have been your first choice for a getaway, but... I do hope you've had a good time. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Tonight's been my favourite part, too. And I'm honestly shocked that my nerdiness with all this talk of nature and stars hasn't bored you to sleep yet. <laughs> Good. Although that wouldn't be the worst thing. You do need some rest. Let's head back to the tent and try and get some sleep. <laughs> oh no. The night sky is perfect, but... I'd rather you get sleep, darling. Yeah. But it's much more important to me that you... Okay. Um, how about this? We can get up early, just before the sun. I know how you find the dawn soothing. And I'll brew some coffee over the fire. And we'll watch the star of our solar system rise together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Star eyes. Yeah. I love that. We'll catch the star eyes. <laughs>